Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Edition. Also, hey, Heather, Fac, Maxi, thanks everyone. Maxi's message was actually pretty old. He, he might not be here yet. But, welcome everybody. Uh, this game just came out today. I, this is the first time that I'm streaming a game that just came out. Although it is a remake. Um, how's the volume? Is it a little... It's probably okay. I think the menu is just a little quiet. It's background noise. Heather says, Jay with the PS4 controller. <laughs> wow, Grandpa. Well, I wanted to use a Switch Pro controller, but it, it doesn't seem to be registering right now. Um, but that's okay, because as, as long as I can play with the controller, I'm good to go. Fax says, probably good you're playing the Steam version. I heard the Switch version is maybe a bit borked. Really? Well, that's, that is good to know. Alright, I'm going to turn it up a little. I was really, really close to getting it on Switch. I wanted to get the physical version for Switch originally. Um, I ended up not doing that because there was no guarantee I could, when I was going to be able to get it, if I got it physically, and I wanted it to stream it day one. So I just bit the bullet and decided to get digital. Um, so yeah, this was a game I played when I was younger. It's funny because I didn't own this game, but there was like, it was like a, a second cousin or something that had the game and I was tutoring them at the time. I was like in middle school and I would come to their place after school and tutor them and they were awful, horrible. It was, it was, it was trying to get them to do their homework all day basically. But the one thing is he had this game for the Xbox and I like never really played Xbox besides that, but he had this game and I played it so much cause I was my only salvation and having to tutor him. And I, uh, I like 100, I'm pretty sure I 100 percent of this game back then. But uh, anyways, we should get into this. Hey, Rag and Primalism. Thanks for joining. This is Jay Plays and Talks. Both. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. Whoa. A normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will Look be at them graphics. into a theater of pure horror. Wherein our little yellow friend will play the stab. This looks really nice. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the crab. Lip sync's a little weird, but uh. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> you know what it is? I think the audio is. It's it's not in sync with the visuals, unfortunately. That's a weird. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. And so is there a way to fix this? Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. I didn't see subtitles in the menu, but I'll try to see if I can turn them on once the game starts. Is it too quiet? Get a photo for my scrap. Hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? Oh no, he set the robots on don't obey instead of obey. What a fool. Yeah, it's weird because visually it looks pretty nice, but that the lip syncing is a little unfortunate. Perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Ranky. Robo Jr. That's what I'd name my robot. Boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put I don't remember this opening very well. Here. Okay. And we 
say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing chair. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure there's a word? Can't remember that. Sure. Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best uh, day ever. Patrick, I think you just made Good a bunch of cookie ball. crumbs Hi, from the bigger cookie crumb. The next morning. <laughs> like how there's just a robot. You notice how like it takes the textures a while to load into? I've been noticing that as well. Your bikini bottom stinks. That's rude. Alright, I'll, sorry, I'll, I'll read the chat now. I was just focusing on the cutscene. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Alright, so Primalism says, I'm researching and other people are having audio sync issue too. I have not found a solution yet. Fax says, something about the characters looks a little too soft. Um, Alright. Uh, what a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! It's weird because, like I said, visually it looks pretty nice so far to me. It's just, there seems to be some performance issues. Hopefully the game feels good. That's gonna be the most important part. Look at like the sand ground. That's not too bad either. Like um, little footprints. How do I read the signs? Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm using a PS4 controller, but they give you a Xbox uh, inputs. But that's pretty normal from what I know for like Steam games. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. All right. Explore, 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 explore. Got it. All right. That's right, you could tiptoe. Look at that. Down. Whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to just... You don't just attack when you jump, right? I feel like it's doing multiple buttons at once. Hang on. Let me make sure my, uh... Whoops. Let me make sure DS4 is working properly. In fact, I don't even know if I... Uh... Whoops. Gameplay settings. See, they don't have a lot of uh, controller options at the moment. And there aren't subtitles for the other cutscenes, but let me, uh, yeah, I don't even have DS4 open, that's probably the issue. Whoops. Let me do that. Can I click off the game? Why is it not? There we go. Okay. Alright, so let me set up DS4, make sure that's working. Sorry, I was having controller issues earlier, and, uh... He's still jumping and attacking at the same time. I'm pretty sure from what I remember in the old game that is not what happens. So let me... You know what? Let me unplug. Plug it back in. Uh, DS4. It's recognizing my controller, but it's giving me like a weird issue right now. There was a control option in the gameplay settings, was there? How did I miss that? Alright, let me check that again. 
Oh, controls, duh. Okay. Um. Well, that's just showing you the controls. Yeah, it's. I, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. I might have to close the game and reopen it. I'm gonna do that real quick. You guys should be able to still hear me though. Um, sometimes I know you have to do that to get the like DS4 and everything to recognize properly. I better skip the SpongeBob opening though. I don't want to. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's... A yeah, because I'm just like... Something is definitely wrong here. Man, I wish the Pro Controller would have just worked. Then I probably wouldn't have to worry about that. You know what, let me like, see the keyboard controller. Yeah, see? This is me using a keyboard right now. And as you can see, I could swipe and jump separately. Sorry about that. Uh, I really should have just got this for the Switch Digital. I don't know. The Steam one was 10% off, so I decided to go with that. But, um... I shouldn't have, because I sh I was even saying, like, console recording is just way more simple. With PC crap, it's always something... There's always something. Um... Alright, let me try to open DS4 again. It's recognizing my controller, but it... let's see. Ah, this is. What is the D DS4 that you're opening? Like the type of DS4? Or are you asking like what it is? Um, because DS4 is this program that lets you use. PS4 controllers, you, for games it would usually only use 360 controllers. Um, so I'm trying to use that right now, but it's... I mean, worst case scenario, I might even just have to use uh, the keyboard. I'm gonna try the Pro Controller again just to see if by some miracle it decides to start working. Let's see. Okay, it's definitely not... Pro Controller still isn't working. So... <sighs> See, this sucks now, because I have this long opening. Ah. Uh... Now it's not even... Oh my god, now it's- now the buttons are just swapped. Now square is jump. I'm using the PS4 controller again, but now the, the controls are just, like, not where they would normally be. But this is better than nothing, I guess. I might just use this. Have you tried running the game without DS4? I think that's what I was doing to begin with, because usually when you try PS4 controller without DS4, the buttons start, like, comboing each other like that you start doing multiple things with one button because now it's it's I can do the different moves uh, they're just not in the places I would want them to be so if I can go to DS4 and like customize that just getting out, out off of the game screen is kind of a, a weird issue okay so if I can uh, customize this can you customize? Figure there should be a way to customize. Control panel, nope, not there. Sorry, I didn't realize it was gonna be this, uh, oh, here we go, okay. 
So I need to swap x and square. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so we want that to be, wait. I want this to be this and this to be that. Does that work? Let's see if that did it. Okay, no. You can customize in Steam. Oh, really? All right, let me let me just try in DS4 again. I I just I don't think I uh I don't think I'm doing the right option. Edit. There's got to be a button for setting the controllers. You'd think I would know this by now. Uh, there should be like a button somewhere in DS4 where you just click it and it's like, oh, press the buttons now to input the controls, right? I don't remember what buttons are on the, how the Xbox controllers are. Uh, sorry guys. Once I figure this out, then this should be fine. Good thing I started early, I guess. Okay, I want that to be X. We want the X button. How do I change this? Oh, okay. Square. And then the square to be this. There we go. Wait. No. Okay, I, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I... I don't know what happened right there. Okay, square A, cross. Okay, I think I see. Ah, it went back to where it was. So I'm definitely changing stuff. So we want that to be A. And then this to be X. How about now? There we go. There we go. Okay, we figured it out. Okay. Only took us an extra 15 minutes. Now we can start the game. Jeez Louise. Okay. Well, at least it's not just me having issues, I guess. Like someone's, like a few people said, I guess. But. I'm not used to playing games brand new, so for all I know, that's a usual thing, you know, for there to be lots of it glitches. Hey, Life Corp, thanks for joining. Thanks, thanks everyone for your patience. All right, now, this, I don't remember this map either. I guess that's for quick warping, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I don't know if I care for them showing you what all the levels are gonna be before you played the game, but anyway, all right. Now we can focus on the game. Let me full screen it. How do I full screen it? There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. SpongeBob. So, a little bit of a, a rocky start. Actually, um... One other thing. I don't know much about V-Sync. Do you think if I... Disabled V-Sync, would that maybe possibly help the lip sync? I'm gonna just try it, see if that fixes the lip sync issue. Let's talk to Gary. Wow. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Okay. Maybe we can see SpongeBob talking. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this okay. button to Well, it looks like he's lip syncing good now. Alright, so now we're into the game. 
And we're collecting these little, like... I was never really sure what these are supposed to be. Like, little, like, corals or something? But that's, like, the main collectible in the game. V-Sync only affects lines on the screen, I think. I, I know it has something to do with screen tearing, I think, but I was just, I don't know, who knows if it could be causing a glitch. I'm just completely guessing, really. Alright, so far it feels fine, I don't see any issues. Spongebob does have this weird thing, like if you notice, if you go right, he doesn't go right, right away he has to turn around first. I don't remember if he did that in the original game. I'm actually wondering if I should have played the original game again before getting into this, because it's been a long time. Let's see. Spongebob may see how well he's doing by pressing that. Shiny objects, that's what they're called. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so on the top right, you got your shiny objects, that's like currency. Uh, the top middle, that's the golden spatulas. That's basically like the golden stars of the game. V-Sync is meant to fix screen tearing, but depending on the inflammation, it can cause a lot of issues. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it off for now. Alright, so now we have enough uh, shiny objects so we could go in here. So let's go ahead and pay for that. Look at all these pictures. It's like from Spongebob episodes. That's pretty cool. This is Spongebob's bedroom. He has three mattresses on top of each other. And he has this weird diving board. Can you go up here? I don't think you could climb that ladder, unfortunately. His alarm clock. Uh, he has underwear for health, I remember that. He has a picture of Sandy in his room, isn't that cute? He, f he falls asleep looking at that picture. Change room. This is where I keep all my old comic books. All right, so the tiki's are like the main things that you hit to to gain points. The impact is uh pretty satisfying. You could do this with your your bubble horns. All of uh, SpongeBob's attacks are based around bubbles. So you have like a bubble Viking helmet, bubble like smash. SpongeBob has a picture of himself in his bedroom. Ego much. Yeah, well, you know. To reach that button. Okay. Oh, we have a time limit, so we want to hurry up, actually. Oh, we need to move the ball over there. Wait, can we hit this? What does that do? There's like so much stuff going on in this room. I don't know if we're gonna have time. We got a sock. So, the socks are like a secondary collectible. If I remember, they kind of work like the blue coins in Super Mario Sunshine. I think you can use them to maybe get golden spatulas. Um, so those are all also pretty important. You have a double jump, if I haven't already mentioned that. Is there anything else in this room? I think that's pretty much it. Spongebob feels a little slow, but I don't know if that's just because he's not Mario. You know, he can't Yahoo around the room. What an odd collectathon this is. It's not really a collectathon. Well, it, there's there's parts of it that is a collectathon, but there's also a lot of platforming and, and stuff once we get out of here. It's just this is like a tutorial section. This, this opening bit's a little boring, to be honest, but we'll get through this quickly. So now we have enough shiny objects to come in here, where he has a golden spatula. Which is really funny to me, because that's, that's obviously supposed to be like the golden stars in uh, Super Mario 64 and all that. But instead, they're spatulas, because he's Spongebob. So now we can leave, and that's where the game actually starts. Sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, 
Hey, SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. All right, so the lip syncing definitely is a lot better Time now. To steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come I from? I love Plankton's voice actor. Where? Um, I don't know. I'm really glad it's Not the uh, though, that's for sure. the actual voice they actor. Showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> So Plankton is not taking responsibility for the robots he created. Like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas. Golden eh? spatulas. Spongebob, eh? If you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. All right. So SpongeBob is aware we need to collect golden spatulas. Plankton actually looks a little big. Look at that. It's a huge plankton. But I guess it would be hard to make the model really, really small, and you need to like find them. These ones explode. I think after you, like they're like TNT from Crash Bandicoot. If you recall how that works. Oh, that, those are some sneaky tikis. How do you get those? I don't remember. The stone tikis, you have to blow them up, I think. You can't destroy them yourself. Whoops. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. I don't remember that part of the game. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, something about new bubble moves? Oh, he's gonna All teach right. us something. Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the Okay, air I know how to do bubble. that. He's, he's teaching us that, basically. But if we can get up here... Let me do this. Aha! Yeah, the, he wanted us to do this, basically. I think to get these, we need to, like... I think there's a, like, a bubble bowling move we learn later on because we can't hit these right now they like to vanish i really like the the different tiki's how they work differently and they look differently that's probably one of the coolest uh bonuses that came in the the deluxe version of this game is uh tiki keychains but the deluxe versions were so expensive okay just teaching us some more basic stuff. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I do remember those, um... Whoops, we're supposed to be faster than that. Or does it keep... Okay, it keeps coming back. I remember after a while, the, the little voice clips could get a little monotonous, but... Ooh, golden underwear. Four pairs of underwear. Sweet. Right. Fresh, like so now we have sweet. increased our health our uh, max health. Look at Squidward's house. I really like how it looks. A lot of the visuals in this game are very nice. Let's talk to Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. So unfortunately, they don't have Mr. Krabs' original voice actor in this for some reason. I think everyone else has their voice actor. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out, and of course make a small profit in return. I've got it's a very few obvious. spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. So we can buy golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs, which in most games, the fact you need to like spend money to help people, like, like for instance, in Mario Galaxy, you have to give money to this, to the, to one of the toads. So he can help you like save everyone and that's always like ri a ridiculous concept to me in games But in here it makes sense because mr. Krabs is so greedy It would make sense for him to charge you even though you're, you're trying to help him <clears throat> Fax says yeah, no Clancy Brown. Yeah, unfortunately I, I really don't get why they didn't get him too because he does voices in so many things you know, he's Lex Luthor in the 
Justice League and Superman and stuff. Like, he does so many voices, you'd think he would have been fine. Oh, Golden Spatula, sweet. So this is kind of the hub world, by the way. Let's kind of talk to him again. 3,000 shiny objects. Jeez. So... These, this is the hub world, uh, Spongebob's like a little neighborhood here, and then the taxi will take you to the different levels. So that's downtown Bikini Bottom, I believe this is the first level, the Jellyfish Fields. Um, I'm just gonna look around a bit more real quick. Oh, there's Patrick, let's talk to him. Hey Patrick, nice sock. What sock? What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of they're more lost. came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a, a golden, golden turkey, turkey baster. baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. All right, so Patrick is another yeah. source. Patrick needs to do laundry. Like I said with the... Uh, Basically like the blue coins from Mario Sunshine. Alright, so that that's pretty much it for this little hub area for now. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the first level. Which is right over here. Ah, I just... I'm pretty sure the original game was like that too, but just Spongebob feels so slow. I think I'm too used to playing like Mario 64 where you could just long jump everywhere, get get to places more quickly. But it'll be fine once we're actually like the jumping around and stuff. Hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw. Whoa. And sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Like I said, the visuals look really nice so far. A little squidward. <laughs> Jeez, he has like a cattle prod. Poor squidward. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? You don't. Well, your nose does look pretty big. Pretty <laughs> bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish Jelly. Well, I guess you're off the scale, Sport Mountain, and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that. Don't worry, Squidward. Tom Kenny doing his superhero voice. For you to rub all over yourself. All right, so that's why you you go to the King Jelly, because I do remember. You fighting a King Jelly. But I had forgotten the reason why. Also, let me turn the, the V-Sync back on and see if that is actually the thing that's affecting it. Maybe the fact that I restarted the game itself fixed it. Let's talk to Squidward again. Ow, so ow, did you ow, find the ow, King Jelly, ow, fish, get ow. All right, so far it seems fine still, so we'll, we'll just keep that on. All right. Here we go. Nice relaxing music. I still can't get over how nice the visuals look. It's really crazy, because, you know, this was a GameCube, Xbox, PS2 era game. How would we get that? Let's see, maybe this will give us a hint. Teleport box. You have, when you have both teleport boxes open, you can teleport between them. Okay. So that's just good in general. Rag says, I'm surprised Squidward is running scared. He seems so apathetic with life, he'd probably welcome the embrace of death. Well, Squidward still has a lot to do, you know. 
Jeez, that robot got annihilated. So, for those of you out there who are, are more uh, experienced with playing brand new released games, is it pretty common for day one games to have issues? I'm assuming yes, but I'm just not really... I guess especially if it's like not like a triple A title. You know, this was a $30 game. So I guess in a sense this is almost like a... It's like almost like an indie size type of game maybe? I don't really know. I don't tend to buy full price games very often. I'm guessing that something like, I don't know, RE7 wouldn't have this kind of issue day one, but maybe smaller scale games. Oh no! Uh, this actually reminds me, did you ever play the Spyro Trilogy remakes? They got Tom Kenny to come in and revoice Spyro for all three games. That's really cool. You know what? I never knew that he voiced Spyro. Because I only, I have only ever played a demo of one of the Spyro games when I was younger. I never really played uh, the Spyro games. The Crash Bandicoot games, I, I did play all, all three of the original. So I am curious about the Crash Bandicoot 4 coming out. Only AAA games usually have issues in release as they depend on day one patches. I really don't like the idea of games being released. You know, I, I should stop just collecting stuff. I should probably focus more on getting through here. Let's see here. Rebuild the bridge. Yeah, let me just do this first. I should stop collecting stuff, I say, as I go and collect more things. Um... I guess this is kind of a collectathon, isn't it? I guess I never just I just never thought of it as that when I was younger. But there is more to it than that for sure. Okay, there's a sock. Hang on, my dog wants in, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. He didn't, he couldn't decide if he wanted in or out, you know. You know how dogs are. Okay. Did the stream buckle? Um. I don't know, I, I left right around that time, so. Might have just been that. Okay, let's, let's build the bridge. Jeez, okay. Sure. Airplanes just dropping bridge pieces. Alright, cool. I don't see any dropped frames on OBS, so I'm thinking that was on your end. It shines. Yeah, this, this opening level is just really uh, to ease you into the game, I think. Like I said, so far it feels pretty good. But this definitely is a very collecty type of place. What is this all about? Freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use the freezy fruit. Okay. Right, so you can play as more characters once we, we run into them. I remember Patrick kind of being my least favorite to use because his like 
he just kind of plays strangely. Whoa! Thought I missed that. Uh, is this like Spyro where you get to the assault the clams at the end of the game to get your shrines back like the capitalism, but I don't know that. Hoodie, have you played this game before? You've just met the Sponginator. The Sponginator. Has anyone, uh, anyone watching this right now, have you played the original? I'm just curious to see if, uh... Because I was surprised if... Whoops. Yeah, you don't want to touch, uh, water because Spongebob can't swim, ironically. I think it's actually supposed to be goo, like the goo lagoon. Uh, but yeah, I was surprised to find out that this game kind of had a cult following to it. Because I just happened to, like I said, I just happened to play this game by chance. Hey, Gary. Bungee jump, I remember this part. Let's see if it still includes this one detail. Yeah, well, kind of. You can still see SpongeBob's uh, butt crack. I remember that being a very uh, odd detail. Okay, we need to like dive down more. There we go. Got another spatula. We're collecting these at a pretty good pace, I think. It's funny because this first level is definitely not... Oh look! King Jellyfish this way. Alright. Well, that was nice of them to put that sign there. Oh no. Spongebob, please calm down. So now there's a new type of uh, robot they just introduced. He has a giant ham hammer. Oh, that's the joke, hammer. You know what, I don't think I, I got that joke as a kid. Whoops. Hey, we helped you. Hello? Wow, you're not even gonna say thanks or nothing? I see how it is. I feel like a new spot. Super monster combo. What is this, Killer Instinct? All right. Blue jellyfish. Wonder what the differences are. Now, I'm pretty sure Spongebob could, could like pull himself up on ledges, but maybe it only works on certain ledges. Not sure. This is Sponge May Cry, obviously. <laughs> You know, I still need to play Devil May Cry as well. That's another game I haven't played. I think I have the first one on Steam. I think I got it like in a Capcom bundle a while back, which I w mostly was just getting for the Resident Evil games. It also has one of the Dead Rising games as well, which I also need to play. Whoops. See, there's like little things here where it's like, oh, I can go risk my life to get this underwear. But it seems kind of a strange thing to put. Maybe not, I don't know. You think it'd be better if it was like a sock or something? Whoa. All right, well, what does this lead to? Oh god! Oh, I did my double jump by accident. Oh, that, that sucks. Okay. Oh, right here, we could do the bubble bowling. Wait, can we? 
SpongeBob needs to know bubble bowling in order to play this game. Okay, so we need to learn that. I guess we need to find Bubble Buddy, if I had to guess. How do we get back up there? The Switch version of Devil May Cry 1 and 3 are real good. Yeah, I want to play the first one just to, uh, just to try it. It will just come right around, around here again. The grass looks pretty nice, and like the way it like moves as you go through it. That's a nice detail. Definitely seemed like, you know, they put work into remastering the game. Alright, so from here- whoa, okay. I was about to say, I wonder where I should go from here, and then it, it sent me automatically. I don't remember... Hmm. Whoa! Okay, there's another sock up there. There's a way to get up there. And there's another box, and so now we can teleport if we have to. And you can knock robots into robots, that's nice. Oh right, you need to back up from those because they explode. I just remembered that right before it happened. I wish the grass didn't hide the drop shadow that much, his drop shadow could be larger. I was literally thinking that too. I, I was... I wasn't a big fan on the drop shadow. It, it seems like it barely appears, like when you're about to land on the thing at the last second. Ooh, another golden spatula. I wonder how many of these are in the game, because I don't remember. Was that five? Or four? I think it was four, because once we have five, we could go to another level. <gasps> it's Mermaid Man! And mail? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. Well, it's not the original voice actor, unfortunately. I was hoping it was. It doesn't even sound anything really like him, unfortunately. Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Oh, his voice is so off from the original. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. <laughs> I try. It I'm isn't working. working. Like By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Evil! <laughs> oh, another teleporter, sweet. Oh, we need to get the other side of it. What does this say? Oh, slide. Gotcha. Yeah, look, SpongeBob uses his tongue to slide. Isn't that cool? That's pretty chill. That was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Every villain is lemons. I remember that episode. That's a classic. So that's cool, because now here you can teleport back and do the slide again if you want to. I want to do the slide again. See if I missed anything. Oh, there was a secret path, see that? Ooh, and there was a sock. So yeah, it's a good thing we, we went back to check. Oh, that's what, okay. So if we jump and double jump, the right way at the end there, we can get the, uh, we can get the, uh, that sock. Well, the original Mermaid Man wasn't Adam West. It was, um, uh, I think Adam West voiced the young Mermaid Man, but Mermaid Man's original voice actor, I forget his name. It was this very, very old actor. He was like in his like 90s before he died. I can't remember his name. Oh, there we go. Sweet. So he can pull himself up.
We need to get to Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. Okay. Here we go, the music just got intense right now. You know what that means. It means it's rumble time. Spongebob attack is pretty good. It has a good uh, range to it. Tartar sauce. Wait, where do we need to go? Oh, over here. Um, yes, what Fax said. Ernest Borgin? Borgmin? However you pronounce it. I'm not good at pronouncing names. I can't even pronounce my own name half the time. Hey, SpongeBob. Hey. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Ooh, another golden <laughs> spatula. I tell you what, all that running around has left me... Okay. All right, so now we're going to play as Patrick. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So it's cool that you can play as different characters. How many of these do I so, have to carry? So SpongeBob can do the... Uh, he uses his bubbles, but look at Patrick. Oh! I don't remember him moving that forward, but that's actually good. I believe in the original game he barely moves forward at all when he attacked. So that's... that I think is an improvement already, it feels like. Alright. So also, uh, Patrick can pick up these watermelons. Then he can throw them at switches and stuff. So that's his main attribute. Did the watermelon just explode? I guess I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's voice actors were on an old show together. Oh, that's how you swap characters, okay. So for now we're gonna keep using Patrick because we're gonna need his abilities. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Such a weird flashing pattern. Wonder if that's a glitch as well. Oh, there's a Thunder Tiki. Now you don't want to hit those, you just want to trigger them. Like I said, they're, they're, they work just like the TNT boxes in Crash Bandicoot. Oh no, that guy can't hear us, he's wearing earphones, run! Uh oh, this one goes boom! Kaboom! Whoa! I didn't mean to go back. Yes, Patrick uses his thick body to thrust, that's his main attack. Who would have thunk? Alright, so we don't want to jump on there. Rock Whoops! Is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position <laughs> yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Read the signs, the got it. Then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop. Jeez. And quality design and knock off wallets. Oh, thank you. All right. I think there's another slidey part in here. If I remember correctly. So 
So Pasher can do the body slam, which is like SpongeBob's slam, but he can't do the upwards attack. There's one. Oh, just use the same watermelon. Thought it was gonna like explode or something. Oh boy, that doesn't look very nice, does it? At least they give you a fair warning. Very sharp. Yeah, so we can't hit these because we don't have the upward attack. That's much better. I don't really remember this part very much. Like volcanic rocks shooting out and Ouch. These, uh, these spikes, bamboo spikes, whoops. Gotta be careful. You don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Whoops. Wait is a whistle. Maybe your cousin played the game without you and then lied about it. Lied about what? Wait. Let me read this here. Kaitra can also jump on the- Ah, uh, okay. Let's see what they're saying. I mean, I, I played on my own profile. And everything. I probably just, I mean, there's a lot of, lot of this game, you know. And I haven't played this game in a long, long time. Oh, I missed a sock over here, look at that. I'm sure there's a lot of things I don't remember. Haven't played in a long time. And... There was only, you know, I was only able to play it at certain times since I didn't own the game. Now I do. There we go, I knew there was a sliding part in here. I knew I wasn't crazy. Oh, you don't want to run into those, whoops. There we go, I do remember, I remember that part. It's funny how there's just random fish. They don't really talk to you or anything. Alright, um... What do we want to do with this? Oh, right, you could throw this... How much of the water does it freeze? Let's see. The whole thing, maybe? Oh, sweet. That's very useful. I like how when you're playing as Patrick, you're still collecting SpongeBob's underwear as your <laughs> as your health pickup. Let's see, what's this over here? Jellyfish Lakes. Oh, we gotta take the watermelon all the way up here, quickly. Where are you guys coming from? I didn't see a machine spawning you. Oh, it's on the other side. So I guess that's part of the challenge. Whistle. 
All right. Ah, oh, see, I can't. I'm trying to not throw it at him though, because if you throw it at him, then it explodes. But it kind of auto locks onto the enemies anyway. All right. Maybe if we throw it before we get too close. There we go. Whoops. Picked it up. Ah, see. All right. We'll get this. Okay, then we'll get up, pick it up. No! See, I don't know if I have time to destroy them once, it, once I'm up there because the watermelon only lasts so long. I'll try. Get him out the way. Oh my god, you really don't have time. How the how the heck are you supposed to do that? I hope you get to play as Sandy, but I don't want her to suffer SpongeBob's underwear. Oh, we will get to play as Sandy. Don't you worry about that. This is a tricky part. I wonder how they they, they intend you to do this. Cause cause you don't have time to destroy them by the time you get up there. And at the same time... I'll try to destroy one. Oh! I am really confused about how they want you to do that. And what's even over there? Can you pick up robots, maybe? No, I'm really confused about that part. Can you put it down without throwing it? Um, I believe so, but you don't really... That's not really the, the part I'm... That's making it difficult. It's that you don't have a lot of time, so if I bring it up there... There it is. I'll, I'll destroy these guys. And then, look at that. There's no time. It's gonna explode, and he kills me anyways. Seems like you should set it down, kill the robots, pick it up, then throw it. Um... I mean, that's what I just did, right? I set it down, I killed the robots, picked it up, but it, then it's, it's, it's gonna explode before I even get close enough to the, uh... And then, and then the other question I'm wondering is, why do I even want to go over there? It seems like it's just the thing that's stopping me from getting over there. Okay, I'll try again. Locked on him by accident. Can you use the freeze bomb thing? Um, that's so far away, it would actually be harder, I think. Because that also explodes after you've been holding it a while. It almost feels like there's just some, something I'm missing here. Ugh. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. All right, I might just skip this part because it doesn't even seem like there's anything over there. So destroy them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, see, then th then another one spawns so quickly that even if it wasn't gonna explode, it's like it just they come and hit you right away. I'm not sure if there's like something I'm missing or if. I don't know. I'm very confused about this. Did you check the sign? This sign? Let's see. Uh, Patrick may even pick up- Oh! Robots, he's stunned and throw them at- Okay. So, uh, you can throw the robot, and that's how you stun him, I just remembered. It's like the word stun triggered me to remember because I, I I had a feeling you could throw robots but it it wasn't 
working to just pick them up. And now there's a golden spatula, which I didn't even see there before. Uh, you know what? I didn't even notice the sign was there either. I guess that's my fault. Also, I didn't see that sock down there. Let's get that sock. People are going to be watching this on the playback and I'm going to be like, Jay, are you serious? That was bad. I should have read the sign. Alright, let's go get that sock. Whoops. Oh no, what happened to the ice? There we go. See, I, I, I could have sworn I remembered you could throw the robots, but it, it wasn't... Uh, I forgot that you had to stun them first, and that was why it wasn't working. Oh, can't get that. Okay. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. The funny thing is, I didn't even see that there was a golden spatula right there, so that was the other thing confusing me. Like, wait, why do I want to go behind the gate? Alright, here we go. I want to fight the boss in this level, Squidward tells me you're looking for and then we'll, I'll move on to another level. Yes. Yes. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs, I'll see what I can do. Old Spork Mountain. On top of old mountain hill. Oh no, the tartar source source. The tartar sauce bots. <laughs> I like how the one was just a picture of a squirrel. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's only a baby game. Which doesn't make it any better. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that was my last health. I don't think the game has lives though. I guess that's one positive. You know what? I'm pretty sure Patrick used to have a body slam. Oh, he did do the body slam. What did I do before? Oh, if you double jump, he body slams. If you do a normal jump, he does a butt stomp. Okay. I only ever remembered him doing the body slam before, so that's interesting. He takes two hits to kill. Alright, we need to get an old spiral mountain. Hey, it's Mrs. Puff. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. So they have Mrs. Puff's uh, voice actress. That's cool. Let's switch to SpongeBob. Let's see if she's as friendly to SpongeBob. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Poor Mrs. Puff. She's just tormented. I wonder if I was supposed to use Patrick here, actually. Maybe I have to throw the robots back. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Or can I get over to it? Aha! Oh, I guess I was out of zone. Out of, uh, out of bounds. If you go out of bounds, that the sailor hand will grab you. I do remember that. Where did... Hmm... Maybe you do use Patrick there. She did say I have a job for you, Patrick. And all the, the switcher thing is here too, so maybe... 
Let's try. I feel like the robots were supposed to be shot over here and then I was supposed to like throw the robots on something else. Ah, eh, whatever, it's fine. I don't quite know when Butt Stomp replaced Ground Pound in the common gamer vocabulary, but I'm glad we settled on the superior one. I believe in a Pac-Man world, they call it the Butt Bounce. Or Butt Stomp, or one of those. So that might, that might be one of the first uses of that. It's funny because in, in Mario games, they, they call it a hip hip toss sometimes, I think, or like a hip drop. Hip drop, I believe. SpongeBob have to sneak up on it. Oh, okay. So you can get them, but you have to, you have to be sneaky. I remember I just would always use uh, bowling balls on them. And they drop a lot of shiny objects, too. You've just met the Spongeinator. I like that. Hopefully we're getting to the end here. I, I would, from what I remember, I think the first level is kind of the the least entertaining because there are some interesting levels that I remember a lot more. So I'm looking forward to getting to those. Oh no, branching paths. That's my one weakness. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if we could go that way right now. I've heard the boss fights in the game are real fun. Yeah, the boss fights are cool from what I remember too. I'm looking forward to that. This game just reminded me of the Taz 1 it existed. Might play that again. Whoops. Taz Wanted. I remember I playing a, a Tasmanian Devil game for the... Uh, for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, once I get to the bosses too, that'll definitely probably be more interesting for you guys. The, the A lot of the stuff I've been doing so far is, is kind of, uh, I don't know if it's that entertaining for like a stream. Maybe if I was one of them wacky streamers. Well, hey guys, welcome to Jay Streams. I'm Jay. Whoa, this game is crazy. Look at all these tiki's. Like a spring Whoa, that's a lot of shiny objects. Did you see the fee in there? I have so many shiny objects, that's nothing to me. Oh no, I have to spend 150. What am I gonna do? Oh, look how shiny this is. This is a really nice looking platform. Patrick it would be useful there. How would you stay away from the tartar sauce guy? He does a lot of damage. Once I learn the bowling bubble maneuver, that'll be really helpful because that's a really, really good move. That's a delicious mushroom cap. It did look like that, didn't it? I 
uh, when I was looking into trying to fix my um, controller issues, I read in the, the discussions page for this game on Steam that apparently IGN gave this game a 5 out of 10. And then other people said, yeah, but IGN's opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> Because apparently, IGN's the one known for making like really like ridiculous reviews, right? Like it, it'll sound really positive, and then it'll say one negative thing, and then it has like a six out of ten or something. A uh, real talk. I don't like tartar sauce as much as fish sauce. What's fish sauce? I've had tartar sauce. I like tartar sauce actually, but. Is fish sauce supposed to be like that, uh, like cocktail sauce? No, that's for shrimp, huh? Oh no! Oh, <laughs> that was a little weird. Wait, was I supposed to go this way? Uh oh, I'm a little confused. He said go up the- oh, there's a golden spatula over there, so that probably is the right way. Oh, I thought you were going to pull yourself up, Spongebob. Okay. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to use Patrick probably and like throw a watermelon. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you can pull yourself up. I guess it depends on the platform. Alright, how do we get over there? Oh, I guess you do go right here. It didn't really seem like something you're supposed to jump up. Oh. Oh. oh, this. I remember this. Whoa, that's different. I remember um, the wall jumping in the original feeling kind of weird. This actually technically feels better. But it's just weird because it's so different. I wasn't expecting that. I think we're almost the King Jellyfish, guys. Let's just grab the spatula while we're at it. Um... Uh, IGN gets too much flack for the reviews, in my opinion. They're mainly to serve a super mass market. Where there's, al there's always those memes about the reviews, right? Like, they're like... I, I can't think of an opinion, but it's like... Not an opinion. I can't think of like an example where, but they said something like, "This game has really good graphics. The gameplay is good. This, this. Uh, there's a little too many, too too many, uh, too many, too much grass. Six out of ten. Like something like that. Like there's always like the memes with that. Like they'll they'll, they'll say like one oh, negative buddy. point, but then suddenly that drops the score down. Or rather, it's more that their review doesn't match, like the tone of the review doesn't match the final score. Yeah, that that might be what I was thinking of. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Are you gonna Good teach luck. us the bubble You're bowling finally? Oh, never mind. Are you sure? I thought you were gonna teach us bubble bowling. Alright, here we go. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? He has a peanut butter shower curtains. All right. Whoops. Oh my god, what am I doing? Ah, I keep forgetting that he's gonna unleash it. Because it like takes a second. Oh. Can we unlock this? I guess after we beat him. Now we're ready. Oh, I can also heal down there. Oh! Okay. 
Maybe I'm... Are you supposed to use the bubble bowling, but I don't have it yet? No, maybe I just did it wrong. Let's try that again. Maybe I didn't get to him quickly enough. Okay, yeah. I just didn't get to him quickly enough. Slap him again. Draw dear electricity. This is such a strange boss arena. Yeah, th this boss isn't like too crazy. It's it's, it's the uh, the robot bosses, which we'll get to eventually, which is uh, which are a lot better from what I remember. I remember them getting pretty tough too, but they had like fun mechanics. Jesus, that was a lot faster. There we go. All right, did I not hit him? I guess I didn't hit him. Come on. There we go. Uh-oh. Achievement unlocked jellyfish jam. He's moving away. <laughs> Oh right, that's the ja the jelly jam for uh, for Squidward's burns. Let's go get the box first before I grab that. I don't know if it's gonna trigger something. There we go. Oh, never mind. It just came right to me. Also, I like how he had a jar of his own jelly. Like we didn't have to collect the jelly ourselves. He just was like, "Okay, here you go. I'm leaving." Once both boxes. Did that take us back to the start? Ooh, there's a golden spatula up there. How did I ever not notice that? No, this is a different area, I think. I don't remember seeing Larry the, the lobster. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Kawabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Ooh, I want to do that. Exit. We don't want to exit yet. Let's try to get that golden spatula and then we can uh, leave this area. Are we supposed to slide down from the mountain? Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a slide over here. Well, now we know that we're going to have to do a jump at the end if we want to get that... Uh, Oops. Don't run into those. Here we go. Hey, we made it. Sweet. Alright, cool. Alright, I think we did pretty good on this level. I wonder if you could check how many uh, spatulas are in this level and how many... Is there a way? Jellyfish fields. Okay, cool. So we're missing two and it actually shows you... Wait, wait. Where's my golden spatula for defeating King Jellyfish? Oh, maybe we have to give it back to Squidward. We gotta give Squidward the stuff maybe and then we'll get it. So we'll just go back to the start of the level, give it to Squidward. So that's nice. We already almost got all the golden spatulas. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, uh, what if I just gave you this? Yay, we did it. Sweet. So if I had did the, um, that Mrs. Puff challenge, that would have been all the, that would have been all the golden spatulas. 
on this level. Nice, not bad. Defeat the poster of the kink. Alright, so we have more than enough now to go to the another level. Which I believe we'll be able to then play as Sandy. Bubble buddy, when are you gonna teach us how to how to bubble bowl? That's a really useful technique. Okay, that takes 15. What is that? Oh, it's just a more hub world, I believe. This is Goo Lagoon. But I think there's like a downtown area. Um, which is like, costs less. Yeah, so that's probably where we want to go next. There we go. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now a debris covered crater. You know what, Rag? Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I could have selected the robots are like the mission downtown from the bikini menu. Bottom. We have to evacuate! Alright, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum. Evacuate. <laughs> vacuum. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering oh, wheels. Oh, that's right. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Pop. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what. If I don't like how there's, this off, like, they're, they're forgetting spaces spatula. on some of the text. That seems like something that would be very easily fixed. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Nice try. Okay, so here we need to collect a bunch of steering wheels. We're off to a good start already. Touches a ball, he will change into a sponge ball. I don't remember that. Like that little floating thing. I do remember turning into a sponge ball though. Oh, new new robot type. Almost said alien. Uh-uh. Oh no, they're bullying that poor guy. Luckily, we have a trick to take care of those guys. Now, can I... Do we... Oh, there we go. Okay. At first, I was thinking you had to attack below them, but I think that's a different robot that we're probably not... We haven't gotten to yet. So this level already, in my opinion, looks... Uh, I like the design of it better already because it... The first, the jellyfish field level gets a little samey looking. Like a new After a while, at least for like me. This seems to have a bit more variety to it. Uh oh, my stream's dropping frames. I see. Is this stream alright for you guys? It seems like the I dropped some frames, but then it stopped. Ah, okay. Bringing it around town. Meow. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Oh, bubble buddy. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? It's locked from the inside. So that's our hint that we can get in there. Maybe from the roof or something? It's choppy, but it seems... Or it was choppy, but it seems okay now. Okay, cool. 
Did I just close that? Okay. A sock. And we're one sock away from getting a, a Patrick spatula. So that's nice. Whoa, that was weird. Sneak up on these guys. Boom. They must rely completely on sound. I'm like analyzing the lore of the Tiki's in Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. There's some new kinds of robots. They're like little dog robots. Whoops. Forgot I was supposed to do this. That is a lot of shiny objects. I just realized I collected like two steering wheels like immediately at the start and then now I haven't I haven't been getting any steering wheels since. How do we get in there? You said it's locked from the inside. You'll have to open this door. We'll have to open this door from the inside. How do we get in there? Okay, you don't want to go past the dotted lines because that's out of bounds. Hitting that button closed that window, but I don't see the reasoning. I don't see why. They don't want me to land right there. There's kind of like an invisible barrier that pushes you off of it. Can't reach that. Huh. Oh, the sea needle. I remember that part. That is expensive. Good thing we have a lot of money. Yeah, let's check out the sea needle, guys. I believe that is a reference to uh, this... Is it in Seattle? There's like a Seattle... Sky Needle. And it's just like this really tall building. The Sea Needle. SpongeBob, what are you doing? The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the window. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money? Easy. I just clear my <laughs> mind. Money, money, <laughs> money. Now listen here, boy. I'll give you, you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects, but I'm going to sweeten the deal. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you break if you all break tiki's. Why do I want to break the tiki's? Because... Uh, they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. That's horrible. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break the my cell. How could they say this about SpongeBob's mother? All right, so we gotta break every tiki in the the. Almost said the space needle, the sea needle. His 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 uh. This is a very strange detail to detail to comment on, but SpongeBob's butt crack looks really weird in this version compared to the original. I'm telling you, I'm just that much of a, a SpongeBob battle of bikini bottom purist. It's weird that you can't hear them destroying the the tiki's when you're on the spring like that. Okay, that looks like all the tiki's in that spot. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. They also made one in Ireland, probably for even less reasons. Huh. I didn't know that. Whoa, 
the 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 sky needle, if that's what it's called, I could be getting the name wrong, is actually uh, makes an appearance in Killer Seven. Fun fact. I feel like I'm literally just gonna like play through Killer Seven again on stream one day, even though I already did it on the Steam version. I want to play the GameCube version. Play through on the GameCube version one day, just because. I still think it's. I still think it's better for a couple of reasons. The port is pretty good overall. I think it looks beautiful in HD. There's just a couple little things that bug me. Fresh, like a spring breeze. How long ago was it you last played this game? Gosh, a long time ago. Like, let me think. I want to say... Maybe... Gosh. Over 10 years ago. Like, somewhere between 10 to 15 years ago, maybe? A long, long while ago. Probably around the time when it was a newer game. Not like new new, but like... It, it's been a while. It was before the Wii came out, I'm pretty sure. So, pre-2006. So we want to get close enough to trigger the... Oh, I haven't been diving. Duh. I was hitting the wrong button. Whoops. Okay, there's all those tiki's. I don't know why Mr. Krabs wants us to destroy all the tiki's. I don't really see how that will benefit him. But if that gets us a golden spatula, then sure, why not? Was that all the tiki's? Maybe it was. Let's see. Maybe we gotta start going the other way. Good work, boy. Oh, nice. Here's the golden spatula. Hey, we did it. Now we have ten golden spatulas. I could have sworn there was something else to do up here, but maybe not. Uh, so you've kept the image of Spongebob's rear in your mind for 14 plus years to be able to compare it to the, to the rear in this. Well, I don't think it's been on my mind all this time. It's more like, I just remember it being a funny detail in the original. Right, so we want to roll into a ball and fly up there. So let's go do that. All right, come on, SpongeBob, we got this. Come on, SpongeBob. Hey, we got in there. I thought that was a failure at first. Hi, Gary. Jesus. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Oh, that's to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse. Aha! There's another golden spatula. Cool. Mm. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Yeah, we think oh, we need that Sandy's that help. Big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. <laughs> How is anyone going to get across there? If uh -oh. only there was a, a character. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible. Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. That's pretty funny. Gary's just like, yeah, Spongebob, you're not making it through these gaps. You need Sandy. Uh-oh, the stream cut out. And we're back? I think we're back. Stream cut out for a second, and I think... Oh. I think we're back now. Nope, dropping frames still. Oy vey, am I gonna have to drop the bitrate again? I'm 
Let me just drop a little bits. Drop some bits. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully that does the trick. Are we back now? I, it looks like we stopped dropping frames. You guys let me know if it's still, uh... Cut out. Okay, you, you heard me mention dropping the, the bit, so that's a good sign. Oh my god, this is dangerous. Alright, now let's go get Sandy's help. Seems fine now? Alright, cool. Yeah, YouTube's a little delayed. It'll say, like, poor data or something for a while when it's actually doing okay. It, it doesn't update quickly. So do we use this to get Sandy? Oh, there we go. Oh, sweet. I thought we were gonna, like, talk to her first or something, but apparently not. So she does a karate chop. But the best thing ab about Sandy is watch this. I remember this. Look at that. She's She could float. With, I don't know how she's floating with the lasso, don't ask me. But I ain't gonna question it. Now we could do stuff like this. I guess she's she's using the power of Texas to fly. Someone better make good use of all these. I was hoping she'd morph into a flying squirrel. Yeah, that's good too. I do like what they do here, though. Sandy can do a chop attack. If you chop in the air, you'll do a karate kick with no space in between. Jesus. Sandy, calm down. They're just tikis. Okay, so I believe here... I think I know how to do it already. Let's see. Yep. Look at that. Like a swing. This is going to make getting around so much easier. Let's see. Oh, you could lasso the robots. I think you tie its hands up too, let's see. Yes. It's funny the things you remember. Did you just call a robot a varmint? It's kind of an odd description for a robot. Whoa, the first nautical bank. We should break in there. I mean, just to make sure everything's okay, you know? All right, now we can get over here. There is a steering wheel in that direction though, but you know, let's focus on this first. Sweet. It, it's a, such a hey, funny, What's shaking? oh, here we go. Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need really? to have someone replace That's my your issue? antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That bear antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. A $3 well, bill? You replace it yourself. I'm not really much of a jumper. I've heard of a $2 bill, but not a $3 so bill. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Mmm. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? All I can do is flex. Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, 
You got a deal. But he's replacing it because that one's giving him bad reception. Um. Oh, yep. You don't want to forget that. I like how they 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 unlock the transportation boxes as you barely even get anywhere near them. Like you don't really need to get very close. Oh, that's right. Sandy's one downfall. She can't hit buttons that are flat on the ground. So maybe let's hit this button real quick. Then we'll go back to Sandy. Where does this lead us to, though? Jeez, Louise. Okay, I think we need Sandy again. You think they would have put something up there? Alright. Oh, you need to use Spongebob for that. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. All right, let's help Larry. She floats so long, too. Oh, new robot. Oh my god! Oh, I thought she exploded for a second. I was about to say they can't do that. Oh, I didn't realize I was lassoing a an explosive tiki until it was too late. Ah, I got him. Okay. Better. The fact you could lasso the, the robot robots and just destroy them is pretty good. Ah, I keep. There we go. Where do we go from here? This way. Guess you can't lasso the duplicator machines. Ew. Fair enough. I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. <laughs> I don't think you have to wear it, Sandy. Oh, well, maybe you do. Kelpo, the greatest cereal of all time. 2,100 shiny objects, who has that much meat? Oh, time limit. Should we have went that way first? I guess we don't have time to think about it now. Look at all these places we could be visiting. This better lead somewhere cool. We're not gonna have a whole lot of time. No, what happened? Whoa, I don't know what happened right there. Okay, I guess we'll just try that again. That was weird. At least the game's generous with, uh... Checkpoints. There's, I don't think there's like a really a live system. I think it just it just sets you back wherever you last were. Wait a second. This just leads back to the. Oh, okay. So this is only here during the timer. Hey, Otto. When's the part where you can see Patrick and leggings? Uh, I don't remember that part. Uh, you might you might be in the wrong stream, buddy. Oh, we didn't get the other box? That's surprising. Oh no, the freaking stream died again. Are we back again? Oh boy, why is it doing this? Why do you do this to me? Okay, I'm dropping the bitrate again. Hopefully, that stops it or helps. I don't know. Please stop. 
Please stop doing this to me, YouTube. What have I ever done to you? If Sandy wears underwear over her suit, does that make her a superhero? Well, she's very superhero-esque. You pinged when you should have ponged. It hasn't dropped, but... Oh, so it didn't even... The stream didn't actually drop? So YouTube claimed that the stream dropped, but I guess they're fibbing on me. Okay. That's better. They just want me to, to use less data. Too bad we didn't get the teleportation box. I thought we did. Okay, see the box is clearly open over there, but maybe it's a different box. Let's check. Where does this lead to? Huh. Okay. This game's trolling me. The fact you can lasso while in midair is pretty cool. Eat it, Joe's. Ooh, there's a steering wheel over there. 7 Eleven. Can we get up there? Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So, any of you guys out there been hearing fireworks? lately, like way too early for 4th of July, because I sure have for the past, like, month. Does it hurt me if I... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, as long as I'm not next... I bring that up because I just started hearing fireworks again. Jumping sound reminds me of Gex's Tell Spring Jump. I should play Gex again sometime, because I actually played... Gex 2, I believe. Enter the Gecko. That was like one of those games. I'm, I, I don't remember if I rented it. I think I rented it. But I remember that being a fun game. Uh-oh, I need underwear. Okay. There we go. There we go. What does this button do? Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. I just retaliate the fireworks by shooting them. Oh my god. <laughs> shooting the the fireworks. You shoot the the fireworks before they pop, but when if they just still explode? Isn't that like not really helping your problem? Oh. Coral Cola. That doesn't taste particularly satisfying. I have to admit. You can't say that, Sandy. That's copyrighted by the underground turtle boys. Wait, was there something over there? Just... Oh, there's a sock over there. Hmm. Eh, that's fine. We don't need to get every sock. <sighs> Dropping some frames again. Sorry about that, it seems very, uh... The stream is very finicky today. Probably just mixed with that and then me having the controller issues. But, uh... I guess most of the time it's been fine. Oh, I forgot she uses a clam to, sh to, to shell, I almost said. She uses a clam to, uh, 
surf on. That's pretty cool. I'd say this level is definitely more fun than the, the Jellyfish Fields one. There's a lot more platforming to it. The first level felt, a, it did start to just feel like a collectathon type game, which some people like, so it's not like it's a huge problem, but this one there's a lot more platforming. And there's his golden spatula. Deep Cover Gecko was great. I don't know if I played that one. I just remember Gex enter the Gecko specifically. Oh no. Oh, good. Bus stop. I was about to say, I can't hit that with with Sandy. You have to use Spongebob. To the lighthouse. I guess Sandy's not allowed in the lighthouse. I wonder what's in there. And there is a teleporter. Alright, I don't remember the lighthouse. Let's see if, if my memory gets refreshed when I see it. Oh, okay. I think this is like a gauntlet, if I recall. Yep. And the stone tiki's are showing you which floor you're on, maybe? Because you can't destroy those normally without explosives. Oh, they're, they're collecting. They're dropping and like they're becoming more and more as you go down the floors. That's cool. I like that. Uh oh. Oh no, stream, don't die right now. Not during the gauntlet. Stream, don't do this. And there's a steering wheel. Okay, I think we're back. Oh no. This must be the last floor. So they didn't want you to use Sandy because she could have just lassoed everything. Ah, that's how you can destroy it. Okay. So I'm going to deal some damage to myself, but that's fine. Oh, I can trigger it without hitting it. Okay, cool. It's going to be a lot of points. All right, sweet. So there's a steering wheel. Oh, we only need two more. And then here is a golden spatula. So Spongebob uses bubbles, but they give Sandy the glide ability with a lasso. That's a good point. You'd think Spongebob could float with bubbles, but I guess they didn't want him to be too OP. Wait, what did that unlock? Uh-oh. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe we could just... Oh no, this. That's what it dropped. Is there any reason we want to go up here? Ah! The rooftops, that's where we were before, right? So what's on the bottom right here? Just downtown? Downtown streets, okay. Well, let's go back to the rooftops and see if it... That's probably just gonna put us back out where we came in, but might as well check anyways. Yep. All right, just wanted to check. I'm assuming it's not gonna have us fight the gauntlet again, cause that would be like a... Oh, whoops, well, never mind. Okay, I guess we get more shiny things.
Top of the lighthouse probably from the antenna. That's right. That's right. We we must have took a different path. See, that's what happens when you give me all, all uh, multiple paths in games. I get, I forget that there was like other goals I was doing. Oh god, I keep landing in the wrong spot. There we go. I gotta be careful. One more hit and I'm done. I need that underwear bad. So you don't want to trigger the that thunder tiki too soon. Or else you won't get to destroy all the stone tikis. Whoa, look, the tiki's didn't quite land properly this time. They're all misaligned. It's kind of weird. Can you trigger? See, before we could trigger it, but now they're kind of like in a weird glitchy position. I'll just hit it, I guess. Let's get those. All right. So we'll go back to the streets now. We could actually go to another level. I don't think there's a boss in this, if I remember. Feel like a new sponge. Hey there, SpongeBob. Bubble buddy. Hey there, SpongeBob. Actually, how many uh, steering wheels do we have? There's two more steering wheels down here somewhere. We might be able to find them and give them to Mrs. Puff. But where could they be? That is the question. Is there anything down here? Hmm. Oh, there's a steering wheel on the other side of that, it looks like. I like how we're collecting steering wheels because the people can't escape town without steering wheels. It's a very absurd concept. Okay, we did that already. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, uh, through here probably. And never mind, that was just one little shiny object. There it is. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. So there's another one. Now we just need one more. Where could that final steering wheel be? Maybe we have to switch to Sandy, because I don't think we've used Sandy on the streets. We've only used her on the rooftops so far. This area looks unfamiliar. Whoops. Whoa. What was that green stuff? Okay. <laughs> Oh, are those buttons? Oh no, I think they're just platforms. Maybe there are buttons. But how would we... Hmm. I don't think we could reach that. Oh, we could. There's one. Then maybe we hit this button and then we could reach the other one somehow. Oh, you just have to get the cannon to probably hit it. Let's see. I mean, I guess that was the whole point of the cutscene. They were hinting, but... A little higher. There you go. Ouch, that hurt though. Right here. There you go. Come on. Right here. Ooh, perfect. I thought I was gonna just overshoot it, but it was like just spot on. Okay. That works. 
How the heck do we get up there? Oh. Okay. Looked like it was going to be harder. <laughs> Sweet. I just want to find that last steering wheel and then I'll be, I could be done with this level. We can move on to another one. Definitely an improvement out from the first level though. I think they're going to get uh, better in that sense. Now where could that other steering wheel be? I wonder if it was on the rooftop and we just missed it. Is there like a teleporter box somewhere? Hmm. Here. Maybe. <laughs> there might have been a steering wheel there before already. Maybe that literally is the rooftops. And it just teleports us up there. I thought it was like technically a different section, if that makes sense. We could go inside the bank. Fresh like a spring breeze. Nope. Bring it up around town. Whoops, I meant to destroy the normal tiki block. Bring it up around town. Bring it up around town. That last steering wheel's got to be around here somewhere. I'm starting to think though that... Oh, wait, wait. Where's this lead to? Oh, there's a steering wheel. To... Oh, that's right. We were going to go with Sandy, but... Alright, where's the, the, the bus changer? I think it was around here. There it is. You enter rooftop via the window. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, um, I just need to get back around there. I think we, we get there this way. I guess this is kind of a long way. We found a shortcut with Spongebob, one of the... Okay, it's over there. See, if I knew which cardboard box teleported to which cardboard box, that might be one thing that would have been nice a nice like little fix or edit is if maybe the cardboard boxes like had numbers on them or or maybe like different colors or something. Just something to like indicate which one connects to which one since the levels have multiples. Alright, now we gotta go give it to Mrs. Puff. Then we can go to the next level. That's for messing with Texas. All right, Mrs. Puff. It would help if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Oh, do you have to be SpongeBob? Whoops. Well, that's kind of dumb. I mean, if you could collect the things with any character, why do you have to be another one to give it to her? In fact, I needed to be Sandy to get that last one. Well, I guess we, we gotta go back to the bus stop again. Rip Larry's TV, yeah. 
I mean, I could go back up there, but I want to check out more of the game. Because I don't know how many... Well, I'll probably beat the game on stream at least, like the base game. Alright, now we're Spongebob. But I don't want it to take too long, because I'm still trying to finish Paper Mario. Uh, the Thousand Year Door, and then I also need to finish Celeste. So, we'll see. Where do I... Oh, there's a sea needle. Okay, it's this way, I believe. Near the, the hot sauce. There we go. SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. No, you but don't. But if I don't, then what's this? That's a library card. Look at the face. A library card. Oh. That's funny. I bet on the original you couldn't read that. That kind of makes the joke... I think the joke's better... I think the joke's better if you can't see the library card until she says it. It just shows his face. These new fangled HD textures ruining my, my childhood. Alright, let's check out another level now. I want to get to a big boss. That's my, my goal for this stream. I want to get to a big boss before, before I'm done. Alright, um... I think Goo Lagoon. I, in fact, I believe Goo Lagoon does lead to the first big boss. Main boss, or whatever you want to say. So that should probably be good. Because, um... Goo Texture Loading Late Lagoon. At the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Is that a fire breathing dragon? Yes, Hoodie, big boss. He's in this game. Is Squidward home to annoy? Oh, you know what? I could check that out after I, I finish here. Uh, remind me if I forget. Oh, duh, I'm supposed to do that. I was playing for Sandy so long, I forgot I could do that. I wonder if these fishes were supposed to have like voice actors, but then they ran out of the budget. And they just never gave them voices. Now he's fried fish. He just turned into a fish stick. This robot's called a monsoon. Watch out for his lightning attack. Oh, okay. This is the one you attack from below. That would make sense. Hey, Professor Beef. This game just came out today. Am I hip with the new kids now? Play... As the my leg fish right now. Spongebob. I wish. Do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles. That darn robot. Robot? Yeah. A big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh, no. Everyone will burn. And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly. You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. It's true. Sunscreen, sunscreen is very important. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. Spongebob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. Sure thing, Larry. 
You know, it's funny, like, realizing as, like, now that I'm older and I'm, I, I recognize voices. Wait, why isn't this working? What? Did I miss something? He just said hit the buttons, right? Hmm. Weird. There's Patrick, but Patrick can't attack from below like that. Um, what I was gonna say is, it's funny because like, I can tell now that I'm older that Larry the Lobster is voiced by the same guy who does Plankton's voice. This is like a much like a nicer version of his voice. That's so weird, what's the issue here? Maybe you have to do something else first. Need to direct the beam there first. Uh, maybe. Okay, well, I guess we'll, we'll worry about that when we're able to do something about it. Whoops, I didn't realize it was going to explode on impact. I think it just turns the reflectors in a circle. Otter, are you, are you the, the Spongebob Battle of Bikini Bottom expert? Was this the game that you played as a child day in, day out, hours at a time? Your family was so concerned, they were like... My boy, please! You have to, you have to leave the game at one point. You have to sleep. You have to eat and, and drink. And you just refused, you just kept playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. 24 hours. Nothing oh no. would stop you. The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. You can save the children. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. I played the superior SpongeBob the movie the game, says Otto. You know what? I actually liked that game too. I remember playing that one as well. Not as much as this one, but you could tell that they based the engine on this game. It was very similar. I think that one had like upgrades, though. Buzz off, Dad. I'm talking to Larry. <laughs> Larry was Otto's father figure. That's where he learned all his his everything. These poor kids. Why is Miss, Mrs. Puff making me do this? I have to do this. Yeah. I like how you actually actually take his time to use the device to summon the, the cloud of lightning. Super Deluxe Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the movie, the game, Alpha. Yeah, that's a pretty good game. It's where I learned Plankton was secretly my dad. If my dad had Plankton's voice, I would be concerned, to be honest. Hey, son! How about you give me the Krabby Patty secret formula? Dad, I don't know what you're talking about. I know you're hiding it from me. Just give it. That was an, a reenactment of Otto talking with his plankton dad. Jay, are you wearing your beach attire? Go SpongeBob. Um, well, I was. But then I realized that who needs the beach? Not me, that's for sure. Hey, there's a sock over there. Where's the other kid at? He must have been out over the water. 
and then we, we drowned, so we missed them. Hawaiian shirt, shorts, and sunglasses. Well, I, I'm very pale. Yep, I can see the kid out there now. Let's get this sock first while we're at it. I'm the, I'm the palest Mexican you'll ever see. I have the world record. Oh god, how did I miss that? You know what, I think Fact mentioned this before, but the drop shadow in this game could use some work. Or maybe that was just my fault. But it really felt like... I don't know, I didn't mean to overshoot it like that. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Alright, let's try this again. This time without the drowning part. That would help. Alright. We have to save that kid. He's counting on us. It just feels like the drop shadow comes very late. Maybe it could be bigger. Oh god. The sand was like slippery. If you get what I'm saying. Oh, it makes it really hard to estimate when you should be stopped. Whoa, the drop shadow wasn't even here this time. That's not good. Oof, that is very not good. Where'd that kid go? Come over here, kid. Please. Oh! Oh, thank god. I almost lost it all there. Alright. Alright, Mrs. Puff. My hero! You've saved the children! Another golden spatula. Place his foot in inch, inch deep water. Dead. Yeah. That's Spongebob for ya. Alright, so I guess we want to go over there now? Now we can use this shortcut? Or can we? So you do bounce off the water once before you drown at least. What's the point of making this bridge right here if I can't get back to it? That seems like an odd choice. Well. Alright, I guess we gotta go around again. I like that they use the same music that's like on the episodes where they're at Goo Lagoon. That's a nice touch. Alright, let's do this again. Let's do this and hopefully not drown. Oh, do we have to bounce off that guy? What is, oh, they're like inflatable, I guess it's supposed to be like inflatable toys, like pool toys. Hopefully we get a checkpoint here. I got stuck under the umbrella. There we go. Well, there's a teleporter box, but we don't know where that leads to. We may not have the other end of that yet. The annual sandcastle contest. Oh, we can't destroy them. We can't be monsters in this game. Castle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third. Um. <laughs> oh, at the top of the sand castle. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. They have a lot of voice acted little dialogue bits like that. It's actually kind of surprising.
Like, they could have just made it like, you know, I just have to find it myself, but they put in like the little cutscene. Oh god. Oh, whoa, no. Ah. Uh, I don't know, that was gonna happen. Hank Hill. Assault propane accessory ready, dragons ready, that burn only the high quality, the high quality propane. Um, uh, you know what? I wish instead of that teleportation box, which I have no idea where the other end of it is, I wish they just put a normal checkpoint. That would have been nice. You know, just a little suggestion. Because it's like, nice, I got the box, but where is the other end of it? I have no idea. So, gotta get back there again. Just gonna ignore that guy this time. Actually hit him from above. Oh god. So you can jump over the fire at least, that's nice. Okay, so we're back here again. Wait, did I not hit that checkpoint last time? Well, I guess that was my fault. I don't get how I didn't I missed that. Hey Kiko, what's up? This game reminds me of Hell in a Cell number 13 from 1999 in Arlington, Texas. You know. I was thinking the same exact thing. Alright, let's try... Oh, everything's sinking. Okay, so it was like a timed... Okay, I got it. You just gotta be really fast. Oh god. Oh, please, no. Oh, if I was Patrick, I could freeze the water, but I'm not. If I was a stronger man, I could freeze the water, but I'm not. I like to imagine the developers, upon hearing criticism and advice for this game, are like, you had 15 years to tell us that. Well, I haven't played this game in probably about that amount of time, so... Where do I go from here? Can we get up here? Not from that way. Uh, oh. I see. Oh god! Oh no! The giant beach ball. It killed me. I, 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 I remembered the giant beach ball that was in Spongebob's room earlier and like I was like, oh those aren't threatening, right? I was very wrong. Jesus. Oh, take him out. Can we destroy this? Oh, we can, sweet. So what, what's the general consensus been for this so far? Have people been liking it? Because it just came out today. But I haven't really taken the time to look into the responses. All I know is IGN said 5 out of 10. Too many sponges. Hey, spatula. Okay, we don't really need that. So should I go this way or that? Let's go this way first, because the other one looks like another screen. gonna bounce me? Oh damn, look at all this stuff up here. We have so many shiny objects, this is ridiculous. Spongebob will never want for anything again. Please don't make fun of IGN. <laughs> But I'm, I wasn't making fun of them, they literally 
they literally gave this a 5 out of 10 according to the uh, the Steam discussion on this page, which I, on this page, the, the, the Steam discussion for this game, which I looked at briefly because I was trying to find information on getting controllers to work. Hello Gary, what's new? You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Ow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. All right, sweet. I like that this game voice acts for me because I've gotten used to Paper Mario where I, I'm like reading everything and then my voice is just dead by the end of it. I feel like a new sponge. Oh. Okay. It's not dangerous or anything. Uh, that. Oh my god. I don't know the water was rising. How do I keep missing that? Turn off the voices and voice everyone. I don't think you want to hear me voice all the Spongebob characters. I think that would be a, a grave mistake. Oof. Please. Oh, well. Okay, so you gotta be quick. The cave starts filling up. I'm not even sure what triggers it, it just starts happening. Oh, that's not a great start. Oh, how is it already filling up? I actually don't have time to, uh... Oh, it just goes up and down? Okay, my bad. Because earlier I think it was just going straight, the water was just going up. How about to say? Uh, let's not get hit by those those rolling puffer fish. Oh! Never played the original. Seems fun enough for a platformer, though. Personally, feels it's lacking in, in collectibles. Especially the rock Spongebob can drive and somehow fails his loading. Look, I'm not a jukebox, okay? Unless you donate to the, the Super Stream Edition, then I will become a jukebox. What the heck? Look at that cave drawing. Look at that. Is that chill? I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original game. <laughs> Okay, where am I going now? Did I miss something? Um, how do we get up there? So I was making a joke, but um, I may get, well, I think I am gonna get monetization back in the near future. And then people would actually be able to uh, donate during the streams. I try to I try to check out most of the messages though when I can. Usually it's like when I'm doing some really like intense stuff, I'm not able to, or if I'm just doing a part where I really need to focus on the game in general. Oh, I need to be Patrick. Okay, where's the bus stop? Because clearly I need to be Patrick for this. Where do you even throw the watermelon at, though? Where would you go from here? Baby games are intense. I mean, there, there's like better levels than this even, we just haven't got- Oh, it's over there! Okay, how do we get over there? Oh, you know what, I bet you Patrick has to throw a watermelon at the stalag- Might- Slug might or slug tight? I always forget which one's which. Is that gonna come back up? From the water? There we go. Look guys, it's that meme. 
everyone laugh now. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go to get to that. I guess I would need Patrick, but I don't know. Hoodie left. See, Hoodie, Hoodie knows about the memes, the sick memes. I think there was a boat, maybe there was a, a boat changer like near the beginning of the level. There's also a sock down there, look at that. Got him. Is a teleporter box. Wait, wait, where's this lead to? Pure Lagoon Beach. Okay, so that's where we came in. Usually you don't even be, need to be really close to the box to trigger it. I don't know how I missed that. Maybe because it skipped me? Like, to Gary? Wait, was there something up there? I guess not. Alright, now we should be able to do something. The meme again. Look, hoodie, look. Look. I know it's a big laugh, it's pretty funny, but it's not that big of a deal. Wait, am I supposed to use Spongebob to make... I don't know. I'm just gonna get that watermelon and try to figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. Don't hit me! Oh, it hit me! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I saved myself somehow. Oh, no! Okay. Jesus. Maybe Patrick has a bigger hitbox or something. Oof! Oh, I can't see. You know, proper drop shadows would be really helpful right there. Alright. Alright, now what do I do with this? The thing is... Okay. Do I want to bring it... This seems like a kind of a tricky... Not very obvious... Thing. I think I... I think you're supposed to bring it... Whoops. I think you're supposed to bring it over there and hit the stalactite maybe? I'm trying to land on that bridge so I can save time. But maybe I can't. Maybe my aim isn't true. Alright, well forget that, we'll just start down here. Okay. Oh no! But see, it was about to explode already though, so it's not like we have time. Because I feel like... Wait, there's a button over there I haven't hit. How did I miss that? This is such a weird area. It's not its not very clear. I want to get to the giant robot boss fight. So I feel like... You're supposed to hit that down. And then you could get in there. Oh god. You hit that button. This place is like a maze. Do the panty raid mission. Look. That was banned. Uh, it was only on the the Sega CD version of the original game. It was banned from all other releases. Uh, yeah, sorry, buddy. That's just the cold hard facts. Or 
go back here, change back to SpongeBob. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with that watermelon. I just saw a watermelon, I was like, okay. Patrick uses that. Okay, so yeah, that's not even been activated. I wonder if we have enough golden spatulas to go to another level. I forget if you need 20. How many do we need? We have 18. We use 10 to get here? Or do we use... We'll see. I'll give this another shot. If not... Oh, if not, I can just give Mr. Krabs... I can buy one from Mr. Krabs and then I can trade socks to Patrick to get another one. That would be 20 anyways. So if I can't figure this out in a little bit longer, I'll probably go do that. And then I'm pretty sure the first like big boss would, would be after that point. So, let's see. I'll give it the old college try in any case. So there's a button over there. How do we get over there? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So we just want to hit this. Wait till the water goes down. So now we can get over here. Maybe I was just supposed to do that from the start and I was just going in circles for no reason. It's very possible. Okay, we hit that button. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's all I had to do. I was going in circles. Trying to figure out what that watermelon was for. Sweet. Okay. This is the ice block. Okay. I mean, yep, rag, pretty much that's what I had to do. <laughs> Alright. Goolagoon Pier. Got him. Ticket booth. But the robots running the ticket booth. They're really taking over everything, aren't they? The robots, they're everywhere. Hey, where do I go from here? Don't tell me I'm lost again. So soon. Let's see, we can't get over there. There's a watermelon. Do I need to be Patrick? Okay, I guess we need to use Patrick for something. Good thing there's a, a bus stop right there. Did we, how did we miss Mr. Krabs? SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. Okay, you need Patrick. Gotcha. Ride the Ferris wheel. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. If you help me get rid of that no good robot. Okay. I can do that. Take this. Okay. Apparently watermelons are very powerful. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a very dangerous pier. I mean, most of them aren't even connected. There's all these gaps. Wait, is he gonna give me a spatula now? Maybe I should go back and talk to him after I did that. He probably won't, knowing him, but we'll see what he says. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Why don't you try something less expensive? I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper when you've destroyed them all. All right. Well, at least we got our mission. I do feel like the running speed could just be a little bit faster. Like, I don't remember if the old game was that slow. Like, it probably was. I don't see why they would change that. 
but just a little slow. Thought there would have been a reason to come down there. Hmm. Whack a tiki. Oh my god, look at all the, the tiki's. Hey, we got them all. How many pairs of socks does Patrick have? Jeez. I guess they did say it was a sock collection, to be fair. So maybe he doesn't wear them. They're just, you know, they're just to have for fun. Teacup ride. Still safer than Roller Coaster Tycoon. I remember I actually had this Roller Coaster Tycoon game for the Wii, of all things. And it was actually pretty cool because you could walk around the park on foot and you can like uh, do like all these different kinds of mini games. Like tons of different mini games. Like golfing. How do I get over there? Hmm. Oh, this is for bubble bowling, but I still don't have that technique. When did, I wonder how you learned that. I feel like I should know that by now. Maybe it's you come back here later for that. No, my watermelon. Oh, I see. You're just supposed to carry it. Go, Patrick, go. Come on. Come on, you got this. Oh, you got this. Oh. Have you been lonely out there all alone? If you collect it before you die, you keep it, right? That's what I was thinking, but I don't think I can make that jump. Oh, from here? From here? I can make the jump. Well, oh, you know what? That might be a bungee, a bungee jumping. There, there might, there might be a bungee jump above that. You would do that with SpongeBob, though. Let me see. Let's switch to SpongeBob. I think SpongeBob's the only one that bungee cords. Maybe they all do. Better safe than sorry. Whoa! Almost fell off. This is ridiculous. Imagine having to do this like in a theme park. Alright. Sure, I'll spend. I have a lot of money. Yep, yeah, we're, we're gonna go up to a bungee jumping spot, I could tell. we were what is the point of this that's weird that's so weird does it keep going down no that's so strange so this puts me up here oops Okay, we're up here, and then what? Go back. Oh, it is. There is a bunch of jumping, but look, it's like way. 
Okay, I don't even see it. There we go. Alright. Where do we want to go from here? Teacups, we've been there. Slide, I don't think we've been that way yet. Ah, here we go. Oh no, we gotta stop hitting those. Oh god. Was there something up there? Okay. Alright, what else is there here? Madame Fishy. Or Madame Fishy. Fortune teller. I said Madame. Madame Fishy. Uh. Oh, there's... Wait. Where is the thing that uh, Patrick was supposed to go into? I don't think I saw it. Well, we, we could probably leave this level now. Oh, there's a golden spatula down there. How do we get down there? Fresh, like a spring breeze. Look, you can gain speed going uphill if you're very, very careful. But how do we get to down there? Oh, you have to freeze the water. Yeah, look at that. There's like a starting point somewhere. I think I can see it over there. So if you get over there is Patrick. Ah. Okay, I'll attempt that and then uh after that then we will go to the I believe after this you'll be able to fight your first big robot boss, hopefully. So let's go ahead and switch to Patrick. Okay, so we need to get... How did I miss that area over there? Oh, we didn't find the other box yet? Must be really near the end of the pier. Okay, so we're going to want to keep going in a counterclockwise path. So I was wondering, since this is a day one release, I was wondering if streaming it on the day of, if I was going to get, you know, a considerable amount of, like, viewers. But I don't think I have. So that might affect um, me deciding to if it's worth doing day one stuff. Because, like, it seems at this point I could have just saved it for when the physical copy would have arrived. And now I'm also thinking of like when I do Deadly Premonition 2, I could probably just rent it and do it whenever it arrives instead of, you know, trying to get the game day one and streaming then. So I guess this is kind of good to know for future stuff. Oh yeah, we want to destroy all these guys. Hey, we did it. And now if we come down here, I'm guessing this is where the ice spot is. There's the other box. Alright, so I could use this to launch to somewhere. What does this say? Wait, Good Lagoon Beach. Okay, so that takes me back to the beach. So let's do this first, obviously. And then we have to collect the other one back for Mr. Krabs anyways. Oh my god, it just freezes the entire ocean. Per
Personally, the only game I played on release recently was the RE3 remake, but I usually wait for the inevitable sells. Yeah, it's very rare that I buy a game brand new. I've just kind of always been like that. I'm very, very selective when it comes to that. Um, like, the only game I really plan on getting full price brand new this year was No More Heroes 3, which I'm gonna stream day one for no matter what, because I just, I want to play it as soon as it comes out. Um, but besides that, I'm starting to think like, okay, I could probably just rent Deadly Premonition 2 and stream it when it comes. I could probably rent... Okay, so you don't have to wait for it. Uh, the new Paper Mario game too, I'll probably also rent. Because I was just kind of testing too, to see like, if a bunch of... If, if I got like considerably more viewers today, then that would give me more incentive to play more games day one. Okay, before we go there, we want to collect for Mr. Krabs. There he is. Here is your reward. Thank you. My videos of RE3 also did worse than my videos of GameCube RPG I just finished. Yeah, I guess it depends. Like, my J reviews always tend to get, you know, more views than anything else. Most things, which makes sense, because that's probably why most people are subscribed to me. They also take a lot of work. Hey, Christmas Elf. Yes, Ocean Man. That is who I am. I will take you by the hand, lead you to the land that you understand. What's happening? Did this... Okay... Where, where did that sh come from? Oh, down there. I think ideally you should get more views for new games, but YouTube algorithms screw it up. Well, it could just be like maybe people are busy playing the game themselves. Okay, now it triggered. What the heck? It's weird that the other buttons weren't working, but like you have to do them in a specific order, maybe? Very confusing. Because they're still red, too, so they don't even give you the indication that they're, like, active now. Okay. Yeah, it, it is fun, Christmas Elf. I had a little trouble setting up in the beginning, but... It's been pretty good after that. Alright, I don't think I- I don't think I want to do this mission right now. I think we can just go leave this level. Um, so let's go ahead and- wait, how do we leave? Uh-oh. Guys, help. At least the light is, like, pointing. I thought it was pointing in the direction you'd want to hit it. I guess not. It has a hub world where you go to levels from... Uh... Yeah, th there is a hub world. Like Bragg said. I don't understand these buttons exactly. You have to hit them in the right specific order? Usually it's just, you, you know, you hit them all to trigger it. And the tower that the light was pointing to didn't isn't the next one, so it's kind of strange. All right, let's 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 get out of here. There must be a way to go to the hub world, right? We should save. Have I even saved this entire time? Oh yeah, I guess it auto saves. Okay, that's good. SpongeBob wants to go back home. The beach is giving him sunburn. 
Yeah, there's water underwater. It's a classic joke. It's supposed to be goo, I guess. It's a goo. We're in goo lagoon. But SpongeBob can't swim. Which is why you die if you fall in the water. Okay, so this is the hub world. So I should collect. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. I remember that exchange specifically. And so there's another golden spatula. And now I think the first big boss robot fight should be coming up. Cause this, oh yep, to the Poseidon Dome. Yep, yep. Okay. I remember that name. All right, so that would probably be a good, I wanted to at least get here before I ended the stream today. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenger. A huge yep. murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. This is it. I can't believe Sandy joined the evil team. How could she? SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Great barrier reef. Wow. The robot design looks very different from what I remember. Probably just looks better. Now the robot's taking a beating out there. Oh yeah, so you just grab her on the ground and then her head goes flying up. That's cool. But now it's gonna change. Yep, now we gotta play as Patrick. I just realized SpongeBob has like texture detail on his shorts. Whoops. That's much better. The robot's losing its head. Okay, then we gotta grab the head. Right here. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. So I think that's how the, the robot bosses tend to work in this game. Is uh the way you damage them starts to just add more and more challenges. It is it is very similar to a Donkey Kong 64 style boss now that you mention it. So once we do one more damage, the last phase should uh, add yet like another difficulty here. to it. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh. Hmm. Uh, we. Like I don't remember if the the originals. Tell was on fire the whole time. Oh god. That's trickier. Okay. Okay, that's not much harder. I remember the first boss being uh, not too hard. I, I remember the, the second one like right away being harder though. I think the second one is it's a, a Patrick boss, robot boss, and I remember that one being pretty tough, at least as a kid. Oof. That one's kind of a tight squeeze. Good thing they have health everywhere. Oh no. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, the fish announcers are always chill. Achievement unlocked, sweet victory. But wait, there's more. 
a golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Cool. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Maxie, what's up? Oh, was Kiko streaming at the hey, same time? Martin. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't <laughs> noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you well, that's just thoughtful of him. On getting me into the jump bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Maxi says Kiko did chase the second JoJo Part 4 opening. Oh, really? He did that already? Wow, he just released a JoJo remix already. Did, did he do the whole song or did he just like get started on it? Opening presents. Too pretty. Can take it. All right, so we're in the next part of the hub world now. As you can see, we've unlocked, and I believe Shady Shoals Rest Home. Wait, you can go in there? Oh, that's probably where Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy live. Sandy's treehouse. There we go, Press bubble bowl. Button, and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! I'm starting to get more viewers. I'm wondering if I should just keep playing Remember, for now. Though, what do you guys think? Only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Is it too late for you guys, or should I? Are you guys down to watch a bit more? Now check out what I could do. Like a bubble bowl. There we go. Oh, another golden underpants. Perfect. This looks like a Mario Sunshine challenge. You see that? Wait, how do I get a... I think this is the time limit, so probably not gonna have time to do this. Maybe. Oh, just barely enough time. That's perfect. Uh, Christmas Elf says, I'd like to watch more. Rag says, up to you and your tiredness. Well, it's only nine o'clock for me, so it's really not late. I'm not really tired or anything. And the game's getting better too, because it's like that first level, honestly, is kind of a drag. And like the levels just kind of been getting better, like I, like I was saying. So, uh, I totally wouldn't mind playing more. Didn't someone say they wanted me to check out Squidward's house? I should go do that. As long as it's not a no flood challenge. I actually liked the no flood challenges. It kind of had that like Mario 64 feel to it. All right, let's see. If Oh, we can go into Squidward's house. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I wow. should have known that whole robot problem involved... Oh my god, look at that picture you. of Squidward on the wall behind him. Why would he have that of himself? <laughs> And who are those random fish people on the right? That's weird. Oh no, this isn't the beginning of the game. I don't know what to do. I've been playing for I a little while. Everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. <laughs> I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Just I jump around like an idiot? I could do that. 
I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Whoa, look at these like dishes and stuff. They're like 2D. This huge portrait of himself. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula. Yes, please. See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. We have another golden spatula. Rag says the game did feel a bit weak, but that boss fight had personality. It gets better. There's some parts that are a little weird. Like that first level, I think, is kind of a weak opener. Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? <laughs> I guess you did. But, um. As the game, as the levels get like more challenging, I think they get better. Christmas Elf says, reminds me of Denholm Renholm? What's that? All right. Now let's go check out this area over here. Let's go into Sandy's Tree Dome. I don't think that's like a level. I think it's just like another place you could visit. Oh my god. I don't remember this. Them their robots busted up the glass sponge, Bob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. Everyone thinks it's SpongeBob and Patrick's fault. Maybe I Water would be nice. I remember SpongeBob looking like this. I guess I just forgot this cuz it's like a quick bonus level. Whoops. But look at the detail. Look at Spongebob. He's all dried up and dying. <laughs> oh yeah, I have the bubble bowl now. I should use that to my advantage. Poor Sandy, her tree dome. more than me well thank you stop your yapping and let's get robot traffic okay I feel like a new sponge literally he is dehydrating himself yeah all right, let's go inside the treehouse now. Yeah, usually he's wearing like a water helmet. Look at this, that's kind of terrifying. This is like a creepy pasta. Oh my God, the HD. Fresh, like a spring Imagine if you just woke up at night and you looked at the edge of your bed and there was this. <laughs> Tiptoeing towards you. Would that be chill? All right, let's go in here. Oh, you can't. I, I thought you were going to be able to go in there. Alright, I guess we could leave here now. Poor Spongebob. This game will give me nightmares. It's okay, he's normal now, see? Alright, let's go visit Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I wonder if Barnacle Boy has this, the original voice actor, because wow, Mermaid, Mermaid Man, Man doesn't. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. That is the original voice actor, I think. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, Twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. <laughs> the wheelchair in the foreground. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh, boy, would I? Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Either uh, that or he's just doing a really good job because he sounds just like layer. the original voice. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Oh, that is a whole what different level. Like that? That's like a big... Tricky level, if I recall. It's too bad they didn't get the original Mermaid Man, but at least they have Barnacle Boy. 
I was across the room. Is that you? Is that you, Professor Beef? This guy looks pretty young to be in a retirement home. Unless he's like one of the people who work here. Is this one you? This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you Hey, your main man. My... Your main man says, I think the original voice actor died. He did, but I think the ge our original game came out before he died. So they could have used his voice, but I guess they didn't. Maybe he was busy or something. And now, back to your regular programming. Retirement home girls gone wild. Because this game came out like, I don't know, like 15 years ago. Probably before that even. 15 plus years ago. Alright. Enter the Mermalair. Okay, before we do that... Um, before we go to the Mermalair, because I'm pretty sure that's a whole big level in itself. Let me go see what other levels there are. Because I'm probably going to do like one more level. So, do you want to trade shiny nope. already then? Come back when you're ready to trade. Alright, there's rock bottom over there, which I remember that being a fun level. We can't go this way yet, that's more hub world. You slowly like unlock the town, which is pretty cool. What's this over here? Sand Mountain. Oh, I remember that being a tricky one. We don't have enough for that either. I love opening presents. Well, I could make... You You guys could vote if you want. I could, I could also check out the police station real quick because that's not like a level, I don't think. Should I go to... Do you want me to go to the Mermalair or do you want me to go to Rock Bottom? And then that could be like the last level I check out for... Uh, for today. I'm gonna go into the police station while you guys, <clears throat> while you guys can can vote in the chat of which place you want me to check out. That's right, the police station. You could check out the robots you ran into. It's pretty cool. Fodder, G Love. Chuck. I feel like it's Plankton. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers. Uh, never mind that last bit. Plankton's the best. That's pretty funny. Uh, it's not linear because I have enough spatulas to go to both of those places. Because the Mermelair, you just need to make it to this part of the hub world to enter, and then the rock bottom, I have enough golden spatulas to go into. So I can go to e either of those right now. Well, I was gonna probably check out one more level before wrapping up for tonight, because I think the levels start to get bigger. So, that's why I was letting you guys just vote for that. What use of the sponge ball is there for this part? Because there's rock bottom, you need 25, and I have 27. And then the Mermelair, I can just enter into because I'm in this part of the hub. And Sand Mountain would be neck after those two because I, I can't go in there yet. And then after that we would unlock more hub world, which would... You know, there's more levels over there, and that's like the last hub world section, if I recall. Well, it's not branching paths, it's just two different levels that I could choose from. Mermelair looks like some of those levels where you have to do puzzles and stuff, like, a lot. Well, there, there's puzzles... I mean... I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you guys have a preference, or I can go to one or the other. Does anyone want to vote? 
Because there's no votes yet, there's so if someone like picks, then I could just go with that. Smells like victory. Oh, sparkly! Can't go wrong with Batman gimmicks. Okay, we'll go to the Mermelair. I think, I think that probably would have been chronologically next, anyways. Not chronologically, but. That's the first place you can go to if you have no spatulas. Okay. Alright, here we go. <laughs> the way he just slithered in. Why was he laughing maniacally? That's kind of disturbing. Alright, here we are in the Mermelayer. shouldn't sneak up on mermaid man like that his heart's not so good come to think of it nothing on him is that good anymore <laughs> sorry mermaid man it's just that i'm always so excited to see you two standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice see i've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my all right kid knock it off just tell us what you want well i really want a new pair of sunglasses patrick sat on my old ones that's not what i meant <sighs> actually it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! <laughs> a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! All right, well, they got doctor's appointments, so we got to do all their work for them, it's apparently. Don't step on the red f Okay. That's simple enough. Pick this! It went over. Oh, no! And you know what? Probably gotta do it from down here. Yep, that did it. SpongeBob is so OP now that we have that ability. Whoa, that's a new robot. Oh my god. That's... that's very threatening. Alright. Oh, where'd he go? It's like a mini-boss? I really like Spongebob's running animation, like, like when he's fighting someone. His arms get all wiggle around and stuff. It's cool that he has like... That his uh, animations change depending on the situation. Yeah, it's a Texas bot. Whoops. You've just met the Spongenator. Invisible boat mobile. Wait. 
Is there a use for this, or is that just an Easter egg? Maybe just to show you that you could hit buttons with the bowling ball. Whoops. Golden spatula. Where did the music go? You can't hear it? I can hear the music. <laughs> no SpongeBob, you don't have a license. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, what is I'm he doing down here? By the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by... Okay. <laughs> They say when you're younger, you you don't understand Squidward, but when you're older, you become Squidward. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. I was actually one of the people who had more sympathy for characters like that, even when I was younger. Because they say the same thing with Tom and Jerry. But even as a kid, I was like, sometimes Jerry's just a jerk. Left wall jump activated? What? Hmm. It's, it's weird when you hit him, he makes a, a dog, like, whimpering sound. Or yelping, rather. Okay. Now where are those wall jumps at? Oh, this way. I feel like a new spot. Sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Alright, which way are we do we wanna go? Hmm. That's where we came in from. Oh, we haven't been this way yet. You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? <laughs> Does he want to talk to Patrick? Dude, his run animation is hilarious. Yeah, Kiko. They, uh, I like the detail they put in this stuff I like that. Who can throw things? Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the both. No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. All right. We're gonna throw the, the throw fruit. Oh god. It's tricky, Jesus. There's one. Dude, Kiko, you should have been here earlier when I was in uh, Sandy's Dome. 
because there's no water in there, so SpongeBob's just dying, and his, his his animation changes, so it's like he's just about to die from dehydration. And Maxie said it was gonna give him nightmares. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Oh, I was about to say, what's the challenge of this one? Is that all of them? Are we missing one? Is that it? You did it! Oh, cool. Now I can get some sleep. Hey, golden spatula. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What's that gonna do? Ah, oh, I see. Jesus. Hey, I know you. Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here, and he's not wearing any pants. Now listen up. There Sus. are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders. It'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? Just start turning those cylinders. Oh, I want to go down that slide, but we got to do this first. That looks like simple enough. Oh, it's a puzzle. I see. Oh, no. Okay. We could do this, guys. I didn't expect this kind of puzzle. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, it's not. If we do one more. Maybe do this. And maybe that did it. See. Yep, I think I did it. Speed run. How do I hit this? Oh no. Oh okay. I already did it anyways. Ah, uh, well done. Now I thought I had power. to do it all over. What do you need all that power for? Why my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Dude, we're picking up golden spatulas like nothing. Professor B says, Jay, I want to make a 3D collectathon game about you called Jay Lays an Egg. Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. Was I supposed to be hitting these this whole time? It's like the first one I noticed. Uh oh, this one goes boom. Ouch! Whoops. Uh oh. We're supposed to be SpongeBob. There we go. Chiller things have been said, says Kiko. Can we go that way? Let's see. Ooh, what's over here? What are they trying to hide from us? Wait, that's it? I guess it was worth a lot of points. I don't know. Oh, I don't think we've been this way yet. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like. This. Yeah, it's pretty chill if I dare say so myself. Says Professor V. Oh! No! That wasn't a good time to read the. Why am I here? Where did they put me? Yeah, this is not... Hang on. I think I want to be down there. That was a strange... place to put me. Yeah, because we were going over here. Maybe the game detected that I was closest to that checkpoint.
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, golden spatula. It was an epic secret. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press them. Return here! Are you listening to Listening! Got it! <laughs> so weird when SpongeBob does that. Well, it's Tom Kenny, but... Okay. All right, well, we got two of them. Two of them. Oh, right, you got a bowl. Two out of four buttons. You push the buttons to unlock the golden spatula. Oh, the villain containment area. That would be a sick place to go to. Now I, now I want to hit all those buttons. I can think I could see one up there too. I must have been missing them this whole time. And we'll go this way first. SpongeBob voices Tom Kenny. Yeah. Guess you're right. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Yeah. You're right. I bet those tunnels. Those tunnels will take us to the top of the room. Wait a second. Ah, we can't get. Oh well. Like you said, we gotta go through the tunnels. Professor Beef says that SpongeBob is an SCP. I guess you're right. Whoops! I gotta be more careful. Fresh like a spring breeze. Golo Rama. Jesus. Somehow I don't think. Oh, that was, that was thread in the needle right there. Designed this place. This is dangerous. I feel like a new sponge. Just keep going. Don't look back. Oh, my God. Oh, golden spatula. Oh, and there's another override button. So, it was good we went this way. I'll try to see if we could get into the, the villain containment area before I finish up today. Because that sounds pretty epic if you ask me. Where does this lead to? Rolling ball area. Okay. Well, let's check this out first, then. Now this is some platforming madness, if you ask me. Oh, oh, oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh no. Okay, good thing we unlocked the teleporter box.
See, this is where it gets, like, way more intense compared to, like, the first level where it's, it really is, whoops, very much like a collectathon. All that for a sock. Alright. Well, at least we got something. I was gonna praise Jay for being a pro platformist. Look, I made one little goof up, okay. It happens. Ooh. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing down here? There's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. Oh, and there's the last look. So we're gonna go to the villain's lair. Sweet. After we do this, we could go do that. Wait, so I need to make sure that this... Okay, so we need to follow this. Oh wait, what are you supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? I have no idea. Oh. This is like that game Mousetrap. You guys remember that Mousetrap game? You spend all the time setting it up and... You just want to see the Mousetrap happen. I think I did that too too soon. Let's see what happens. Come on. Come on, what are you doing? Wait, what happened? Okay, I probably did that too soon. So wait a bit longer. And then do that. Why is this not coming? Why is this not dropping? Look. Hello. Oh, you're... Okay, I thought it was the foot panel that was doing it. I didn't realize that my bubble was actually the thing that hit it down the first time. That mixed me up. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know what this foot panel does, actually. Scoop successful. Nice. Oh, it's just that. What is that? Does that do something? Did it fall? Where's the ball at? Oh! Wow, I guess it was coming around very slowly. Well, let's try that again. This is gonna be hard. Uh, the game no one ever actually played as who cares about the board game when you have a Rude Goldberg machine. <laughs> yeah. Rube Goldberg. Uh, Yotam Perel, aka Lazy Muffin, did an animation called the, the Rude Goldberg. Uh, machine. Come to think of it. Jesus, I just barely caught that in time. Do I... Is it... Is it... Is it stuck? Okay. So now this part I have to... I guess you have to wait for it to come around. It just takes a long while. Yeah, I had completely lost track of the ball at that point. Wait for it. Maybe now? Oh, oof, I think that was the right timing. Oh my god, I almost missed it, but where does it go now? Oh god, we're not even up there. Oh. 
Okay. Do I need to do this now? Does that just stop that? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, and then you have to actually do this physically? Oh my god, that's... That's rough. Oh, I didn't realize at the end that it was like a... It wasn't just a switch or whatever. This is a tough thing for a kid to do. Like this, the difficulty really ramps up. All right. It's mainly just because, like, when you lose, it, it takes a while to restart everything. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. How did I miss that? Oof. That was close. Look, I'm not a kid right now, but I'm just saying, as a kid, because this is a kid's game, this is a, a pretty tricky challenge. That's all, all I'm saying, okay? Because, like, you know, stuff right here, you gotta have patience, you gotta wait for it to slowly come around. Slowly. Slowly make it to where I hope it lands. Oh my god, it barely caught it. I'm not sure what this one does exactly. Maybe it just makes the hammer. Oh, it makes the hammer go up. Okay, so now here is where we need to... Oh, no! I didn't understand how the physics were going to work there. Oh, that's so rough. Okay, I mean, I hope I get it this time. You guys saw that, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure. I thought I had that. We could do this. Right? Everyone believes in me, right? Rag says, Jay is role-playing as a child and playing badly on purpose to mimic a low experienced player which only a skilled player would be able to do. Yeah. Of course. Where's the ball at? Oh, gosh. It takes so long. At least Spongebob's having a good time. He's all dancing. Ball. There it is. Okay. All right. Get out the way, robot. Okay. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like. Okay, so left. Jeez, look at that. Okay, what? Okay, sure. Whatever, whatever works. I don't understand why that happened, but okay, at least it worked. What is this? Am I supposed to do this? Did I do something wrong? No! You were supposed to hit that too? Oh! Oh, I didn't. Oh, uh, I thought that was the end of it. I thought you were supposed to get it in that. Okay. Tell me I'm not the only person. Oh, I can't believe this. After all that. Oh. 
Well, I was about to, but I didn't notice it till the last second. I was too... I was just too happy that the ball actually went in the thing that time, even though the physics weren't really making any sense. So I didn't expect that. So as soon as I noticed it, I tried to go to hit it, but then it was already too late. It's really just this part that takes so long. Like, look at this. It really... This is really the time consumption right here. Here comes the ball. Slowly but surely. Now this time I think we'll get it. Hopefully. So let's see, because last time I was holding left already at the start, and it, it just went over this, the circle. Okay, I don't understand. How is me holding it left gonna make it go over to the right? I don't understand. I don't get the physics for that. Just my size. It shines. Fresh like a I, I don't understand what I did wrong that time. I mean, I appreciate what they're what they're going for here, but jeez, I think I hit that way too soon. Oh well. Yeah, I goofed right at the start. It's just that last part, really, where it's where you have to move the ball yourself. It just it doesn't really make sense how the tilting works. Yeah, I was think I was about to think that too. Like maybe, maybe I gotta start by not standing on it and then don't stand on it until it gets onto it. Well, I was holding right at the start and that didn't work. You'd think that's that would be what to do, but I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't hold right at the start. Alright, come on. Come on, ball. Alright, we gotta get it this time. Oh, no, no, you said holding right at the start. Sorry, I was thinking left. Yeah. No, I'm thinking, like, maybe just don't even stand on it first until... Like, wait for it, and then hit left. Let's see. Okay, just, just go in, just go in. Please just go in. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, thank god. What happened? Did I forget something? Or did it, did it work? Oh, okay. Good. Whew. At first I thought there was like something else I forgot because I heard the burr noise. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving a promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra ten seconds. Woo! Twenty second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I I understand, boy. I'll just dock thirty seconds from your break time instead. Wow! That means I have a That's horrible. All right. All right, so let's go check out that villain's lair that we've unlocked, and then we can wrap things up. I'm glad we, we were able to do that. You deserve that spatula. Thank you. All right, we hit all the buttons. Hello, computer? Please. 
Okay, how about the safe? Security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown. At least it was a spatula, not like a sock or something, or just like one shiny object. That would be an insult. All right, now we can check out the villain containment area. I wonder if we'll see Man Ray. System has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah. Well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's beast. She has cauliflower ears. Best villain containment system. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh no! It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray. The, the dirty bubble. Flounder? The dirty bubble. No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy, Prawn. Prawn! Jesus. Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes, but now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <laughs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything That's just fiendish. Pink, pink. How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. Yeah, they just did a con Star Trek reference. That's pretty funny. Thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. I like how that prawn is just French plankton, pretty much. I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coop. Maybe you better take care of prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. I thought he was going to say, I shall not rest until I stop you, but first I will take a nap. Alright, so how do we fight this guy? Um, uh-oh. Slowly getting closer. Let's see, can we just get up to him? Oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was a failure. Did I just scream ow? I don't understand. Probably jump over these. Okay, I could, but they were going a lot slower than I realized. It's alright, I will make up for that. I won't take any more hits this boss fight. Okay, so I can walk down? I don't understand, because it doesn't seem like it lets me past that point. I'm confused. I'll try one more time there. They do give you a path, so you figure you would walk. You know, use the path to walk to him. Alright, let's see. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Did you see that? That was very weird. So maybe you have to run up and then use the bubble? It's weird, you'd, you'd think it would be one or the other, like either you roll the bubble or you run up and hit him, but I guess it's both. It's a little of column A and a little of column B. Okay. Now I, get, now I got it. Oh, he only has three hits. Well, the thing is, I think bubbles usually go on forever, normally. So I guess it's different here. 
Alright. Well, it's fine. We figured it out now. It only took one death. These robots need to go away. They're a real pain in my sponge butt. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, I missed. Oh, that sucks. Oh no! Jeez, he started firing right on top of me. It's not that big of a deal. I have five hits, but... I don't know, just kind of took me off guard. Oh, he can't load any more robots in, so if I just leave him on that side, then they won't be able to bother me when I go to attack him. Pretty smart thinking, huh, guys? Aha! No, no, not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Pro? Yes. Run is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, <laughs> Frankie. I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. I like how instead of a sock, he found a spatula in his sock drawer. Shiny example. Let goodness and kindness. Are you still here? <laughs> All right. All right, I think that's good for today. I feel like that's about halfway through, like, the base game. Because I'm assuming... It takes 40 spatulas to get to the, uh... To the last part of the hub world, I think. But, uh... Oh, you can't just teleport there. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Alright, so... So far... Uh... I'm enjoying it. Well, it's not already Christmas Elf. I've been playing for four hours. But it, it's the base game I'm talking about. Like, you, there's still lots of... Like, here, let me show you. There's, there's still plenty of, like, golden spatulas to collect. Like, Mermelair. Oh, I got all the golden spatulas in the Mermelair. Oh, that's awesome. I'm still missing two socks, though. Downtown Bikini Bottom, I'm missing one. Uh, Gula, Gula Lagoon, I'm probably missing, like, a lot. I am missing two. Um... Jellyfish Fields, I'm missing one. I guess I've been actually getting a lot. But I'd say we're about halfway through. We still have, we still have like, a good amount of stuff to do. There's still some cool levels coming up. But yeah, I think this is like a pretty good remaster so far. There was some issues with, at the beginning, getting my controller to work. But besides that, it looks really nice. It plays pretty good. I don't think I've had any like gameplay issues whatsoever. The sound sync, the lip syncing was off at first, but it, it fixed, I think, after I restarted the game. Um, I don't know, overall, it seems like a pretty good remaster. I'll be honest, $30 is a bit much for me, in, a, uh, in my opinion. I think I might have preferred if it was like $20. But overall, it seems like a pretty good remaster. The game's about as fun as I remember. I'll probably do like one more stream on this to like finish the base game. But uh, yeah, fun stuff for sure. And then after that I'll continue Thousand Year Door and... Well, Celeste too, I gotta finish Celeste. I got stuff to finish for sure. But anyways, cool stuff. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, my first ever streaming a, a brand new game on the day of release. I think it went okay after I got things working. Um, ugh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. I will catch you guys later. Thanks for joining. Stay safe and all that. And 
Island. Well, it's a brand new remake, if anything. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a good night. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.